Hi Scorpio, thank you again for liking, sharing, subscribing and of course dropping by. For those interested in private readings, my email is listed below this video. Okay, first card, Seven of Pentacles. Chariot, Four of Swords, Ace of Wands, the Star card, Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, The Empress. Okay, starting off with the Seven of Pentacles, Scorpio. Seven of Pentacles. There's definitely a lot of reanalyzing, revamping, assessing, judging, um, researching that's going to be done by you. This could be regarding your finances because, you know, um, traditionally the Pentacles do resemble coins. So this could be looking at your finances, assessing your savings, having a look to see if you have enough money for what it is that you want to purchase, what it is that you want to do. It could be a holiday. It could be um, something to propel you into fame or a social media platform of some kind because you do have the knight of pentacles here as well and the knight of cups so you are thinking about your finances but it doesn't necessarily have to be finances it could even be assessing your assets looking at what it is that you've accrued looking looking around at your life at your current set of circumstances and having a look at the people in your life uh, what you want if the um, cars in your life, you know, your home, your job, your anything that en encompasses your current set of circumstances and really looking to see whether if this is, if you are on the right track or not. So you have this certain, uh, maybe, maybe you're at a crossroads or maybe you're just assessing what it is that you want or, or just being really happy with how much you've, you've had, how much you've uh, accumulated, how much money you've saved. Um, how many friends you've made, how many new friends you've made, your relationship that you're in, it could be with an earth sign, you have earth here, um, you know, Cancer and Aquarius as well, I mean you have a lot of elements here, but the seven of pentacles is is you uh, really looking at something with a different, you know, with a different um, perspective. It's sort of like a shift in your awareness. So you're really scrutinizing the steps you've taken or the steps you haven't taken and really, um, really thinking what it is that you could do differently. And maybe you need to do something differently because maybe you're wanting something, uh, you know, other results because you do have the chariot and you want this success. You want this success, you want this notoriety, you want the fame, you're hungry for it, there's a hunger for it, uh, Scorpio. Now this could be a strong cancer around you if you're in a relationship. This person could be the driver of the relationship, they could certainly be the more dominant one in the relationship, um, you know, making all the ideas, you know, plan a lot for the future, etc. But this could also be you, um, really being in the driver's seat of your own life, becoming more successful. I feel if you're single, there's a lot of people that are looking to you. You're uh, attracting a lot of people. A lot of people are noticing you. This is at work and in love because the chariot is someone, you know, when I think of this, uh, of these ancient civilizations, the chariot was driven by the highest of high, the generals, the pharaohs. And there's movement, there's progress here. So if it's in a relationship, I feel there's progress. You'll hear of something, uh, Someone will want to meet with you, will want to talk with you, will ask you out on a date. If you're in an existing relationship, I feel like you're you'll really take the reins of this relationship. You'll really be the leader. If the if the other um, if your significant other isn't, then you will you will be in this role. But there's a harmonious balance here. So if this isn't a relationship, look how well you complement each other. This is yin and yang, masculine and feminine with the two sphinxes here. And you're both pulling the weight, which, which I like. And maybe you're both, you both have these, you know, strong uh, dispositions and strong beliefs, morals and values when, you, when it comes to relationships. 
but work-wise I feel like you're on you're on the road to success look at the stars in his canopy I almost feel like it's destined to be it's in this is in your stars and you have uh, the star card here which is beautiful and you also have the empress so there's success there's fame there's notoriety it's 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 meant for you, Scorpio, in one aspect of your life or another. Whether you're meant to um, be a star, be famous, be very well known and renowned in your field of expertise, or the services or the product you provide, or you know the the talent that you have, whether this talent is hidden or whether this talent is has been out and admitted to the world, or if it's regarding work, then it's you know you're you're on your way to that promotion. You're on your way to praise because you're being noticed for the work that you're currently doing, the work that you're contributing to, with the chariot card here. For some, there's definitely a promotion, or there's definitely a change, there's a, there's a new motivation, that's a newfound motivation that's coming, that's coming through here, and maybe it's because you've been looking at your set of circumstances, and you're unhappy with them, and you want to change. Now the next card over you have is the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords speaks about withdrawal, taking time out. This very much reiterates probably the Seven of Pentacles in this spread. Um, perhaps taking time out to make a plan, make a life plan, list your goals, write what it is that you want to, you know, create a vision board of the dream relationship you'd like to have, taking time off from work even and coming back stronger and better than ever. Coming back re-energized, could be taking, you know, a holiday as well. Could be visiting museums, visiting churches, visiting historical sites, um, visiting a, me a meditation retreat. There's a tomb effigy here, so you could be visiting a grave site. Becoming more spiritual, becoming more religious. And there is, with the, with the star card here as well, as spirituality, especially with the empress. Maybe you're becoming more spiritual or exploring that side of you and maybe that's what you need to do, Scorpio. Maybe it's something that you haven't been in touch with and this is the time to do that. Could speak of a holiday. There could be a holiday around you. If it's not you that's going, then it's somebody around you, either a partner for work or a friend or a, or a sibling or family members. Or it could be that someone around you at work goes overseas and you step into their role and you really own that role as well. You really drive and you'll be very successful and you'll definitely be noticed for your contributions, for your performance. Now, moving on, you have the Knight of Pentacles. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is... It could be business transaction, service. It's an offer in the physical realm. It's someone that's wanting to make you a physical offer. And if it's in regards to a relationship, maybe you are, maybe someone's willing to make you, you know, offer you exclusivity. Maybe someone wants to go for a holiday with you here with the Four of Swords. Or maybe you want to take time away from them, Scorpio. But the Knight of Pentacles could also indicate financial transactions. Maybe it's your finances that you'll be sorting out, meeting with accountants, meeting with consultants, um, discussing your salary. Maybe this could even be a new job because you have a new start here with the Ace of Wands. This could be a job in media and production here with the Star Card, some, you know, blogging, social media, PR, public relations even. There's an offer of finances that are coming to you. I mean, there's, there's, there's cards here that denote fame, though, and really being in the public eye, really being very influential, um, leading and mentoring people. This could be a strong earth sign around you as well, a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo that wants to make you an offer or that you're destined to meet. It could be destined to meet on through work or through a holiday. Or it could just be, you know, this 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 new approach to money that you may have, or it could even be an asset that's coming in around you. It could be because of a will or an inheritance of some kind with the tomb effigy here and with the four of swords. It could be money that you're investing to help 
you know, help your business with a marketing plot or an advertising contract as well. Now the next card over is the Empress. And the Empress is a beautiful card of manifestations and the fact that you have pentacles here Two Pentacles says to me that you are making these changes in your physical realm. So embrace the change, get ready for it because you are implementing it and you are actioning it, Scorpio, where you need to here with the Empress card. But there's a real, um, very spiritual and sensual energy with this card as well. So for some, there's in your relationships, and what's interesting in these two cards here, they're both they're both nude. So there's a strong sexual passionate connection with someone around you this may have been going on for quite some time or, or you could just be you could just be feeling you know your libido could be very high you could find yourself just really wanting and craving affection and intimacy more so than usual or that you're attracting a lot of people you're definitely a lot of people are looking at you Scorpio you're definitely the center of attention you're definitely being desired um, through I think work colleagues and just in your personal life as well in your relationships Someone might be doing something very special for you, but this is manifesting jobs, lovers, you know, experiences with the Empress card here. This could even be pregnancy as well. For some of you, there's, 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 you'll be taking time off work because of a pregnancy or a colleague might be taking maternity leave and then you might step into their role and really, really own it and just see how much you might enjoy this role. beautiful manifestations here with the Empress. Now the Ace of Wands speaks about a beautiful opportunity that's handed from you from the hand of God, from the universe, from spirit. This could be a strong fire sign that's coming in an Aries, Sagittarius or Leo. Or this could also be a, a promise of movement and progress. And look at this acceleration here. We see movement here with a chariot. We see movement with the Knight of Pentacles. We see movement with the Knight of uh, Cups. And we see movement with the Ace of Wands. So whether this is physical or emotional movement, of course, it will apply individually to each and every one of you. But this is the promise of change and progress. So there's some sort of shift that's going to be happening. A shift in um, a work role, a shift in business. A new opportunity that's going to be presented that's really going to put you on the public stage or really going to put you in a place where a lot of people will be seeing your work and it doesn't you know it won't apply to everyone and not everyone will 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 gain fame from this reading but it could even be a role where uh, people can see who you are so you might be placed in an office where you know with glass windows and everyone can see how you work you're in a position you know um, a prime position or a location where a lot of people can see you but this could be change as, as, as well, as I said. This could even be relocation. It could even be a holiday. There's two cards that could indicate a trip of some kind here, a journey or a trip. Um, and it doesn't have to be an international journey. It could even be just traveling to a different city, visiting family or, you know, visiting different historical sites near you as well. But how wonderful to see that you have the star card, one of my favorite in the deck. This talks about healing, destiny, fate, things being written in the stars for you. A lot of destined things happening for you. A lot of you will feel this. Not all, but a lot. And I hope for your sake, everyone does, to some extent, feel this sort of beautiful energy and shifts and planetary maybe energies as well here with the star card. This could be a strong Aquarius that's coming in around you. But again, this is you really being in the public eye, attracting attention attracting a lot of people, counting your lucky stars. There could be, there's a notion of astrology here with the star card. So for some of you, you're going to be interested in astrology and you might not realize how much, how knowledgeable you already are about it. And you might take that to different heights. You might take that to new heights. You might start your own YouTube channel. You might start your own blog or write a book, write an ebook. For those that um, have their own piece of works or their own talents, writings, uh, scripts, products, designer labels, fashion labels, a services, a new invention, I feel like you might be implementing this. 
but this is healing too, whether it's healing and recovery from finances, from, uh, from friendships, from past grievances, whether a little sabbatical or a little holiday gives you that healing, gives you that time out. It could even be a travel blog for some of you that you may start here. You know, with the Empress here and the Star card, this could be someone that you might consult that's in the esoteric arts, a tarot reader, a medium, something like this Scorpio that's also possible. Now, the next card over, you have the Knight of Cups. So someone is wanting to make you this offer. It could be, as I said, if it's in a love situation, I feel like someone's wanting to make you an offer of interest. Someone might want to take you out on a date. Someone might um, message you via social media, on Facebook, through your work email, through any sort of communication channel or communication medium, wanting to collaborate you, wanting to hear from you, asking you questions, commenting, praising, adoring you, um, supporting you in some way here with the Knight of Cups. making you this offer, holding up their cup to you, toasting to your success. This is someone that's really in awe of you with the Knight of Cups. And maybe this is you, Scorpio. I mean, you rule the cups and maybe you have been in this for the last few months, the last year. Maybe you've been in a rut and maybe it's been barren and maybe you've been single and you haven't really encountered many people or you haven't really encountered many opportunities of growth and development within the workplace. I mean, you're coming into something more arduous. You're coming into something more challenging and you're climbing you're climbing higher. This is, again, movement up. The chariot, this is swift movement. This is movement and progress. With the Knight of Cups here. I really feel like there's a shift, there's a shift, a big shift that might be happening for you, Scorpio, and it has to do with something in your way of thinking. It also has to do with these... Um, a lot of opportunities, chance, coincidence, serendipity that might be around you. And I feel this will really propel you into change, propel you into, into something new. But it's really a shift in your awareness. There could be an offer of a trip, an offer to be part of a TV show here with the star card. To be part to work for a production company, a media company, a publishing company, work with finance, even a very prestigious um, finance global chain business. Okay, good fortune, very nice. Just solidifies the chariot and the star card here with the empress. Good fortune is on its way. So things are looking up. If they haven't, they definitely are. See this triangle here? There's a solid foundation. And you're climbing the top. You're climbing to the top tier. And life looks pretty good from the top, doesn't it? Good fortune in relationships. If there's an event you need to be invited to, someone is going to notice you. Someone is going to see you. You may be a singer and you might sing at an event and someone will scout you and is interested in um, working with you, representing you. You may be meeting someone at an event. There's creation of new worlds. Look at all these circles here. This is infinity. This is creation of new worlds, new ideas coming into play here. And look how happy and giddy you are here with the Priestess of Good Fortune. is very nice very 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 positive a lot of abundance is happening and maybe it is you have to count your lucky stars because there's a lot of things that you can a lot of beautiful things you can invite into your life now Scorpio but it all starts with you it all starts with your shift this perception this attitude that you have is going to be the driver of success fame love trips holidays sabbaticals manifestations, finances, assets, and anything to do with your physical realm as well. Um, but a lovely reading, Scorpio. I hope, you, I hope you have enjoyed it.